described safe journey management plan and road safety rules. Don't learn safety by accident. Follow the prescribed safe journey management plan and road safety rules. Buckle up before you start your journey. It could save your life. Stop. Don't take a risk. Drivers are required to refuse to transport passengers who will not fasten their seatbelts and their vehicle is not authorized to move. When used properly, seatbelts reduce the number of serious traffic injuries by 50% and fatalities by 60 to 70 percent. Most road traffic accidents happen in bad weather. To ensure your safety, you should always have 100 meters of clear vision. Stay within the speed limit. Take care on the road, buckle up, don't talk on a mobile phone while driving, and don't drive in low visibility. In a collision, passengers unrestrained by a seatbelt are propelled forward with a force equal to the weight of an elephant. The safe journey management plan is for your safety. Never drive in fog. Always wear your seat belt in the front and back seats. Obtain a valid permit to work before commencing any job that requires one. The permit to work is the very first step in ensuring your safety and those around you. It's a checklist to make sure you have the right tools, safety gear, equipment, skills and much more. It tells us when you'll be working, where you'll be working and how long you need to complete the task. So for all those big things like moving heavy loads and working in dangerous spaces to the very smallest thing like fixing a broken air conditioning unit. Your permit to work ensures that everyone is aware of what jobs are taking place, who's working on them, and that your supervisor has established safe working conditions. The permit to work creates an organized company, and an organized company is a safe company. Have you got a permit to work? Gas tests whenever required. There is always time for a gas test. Always conduct gas tests before any welding operation and before working in hazardous areas. Gas is an invisible and silent killer. A qualified gas tester must conduct a gas test before commencing work. Think. Your safety and the safety of your colleagues depend upon following the rules. Don't take a risk. HSE process and procedures of work permit and gas test must be completed before starting work. 
regardless of urgency. Always wait for a qualified gas tester before any welding operation. Gas is an invisible and silent killer. Specified life protecting equipment. Don't let safety come as a shock to you. Life protection rule number four. Verify isolation before beginning work and use the specified life protecting equipment. Personal protection equipment only works if you wear it. Stop. Don't take a risk. You are empowered to stop any unsafe act or condition which may put you or your colleagues at risk. When working with electricity, ensure your safety by disconnecting the power and always use the specified electrical personal protection equipment. Electrocution can cause deep burns or even stop your heart. Electricity has the power to kill. You have the power to protect yourself and others. Turn the power off and always wear your personal protection equipment. A PTW and a confined space entry certificate before working in a confined space. Stay safe from hidden dangers. Rule 5. Obtain a PTW and a confined space entry certificate before working in a confined space. Gas is a silent killer. A qualified gas tester must conduct a gas test before you enter or work in areas with poor ventilation, such as tanks, pits or closed spaces. If you are unsure, just ask. Stop. Before entering a confined space, check with your supervisor if the space is cleared as safe to enter or whether breathing apparatus is required. Always wear positive pressure breathing apparatus when entering confined spaces. Gas can be released in many ways which you may not expect. Always test for gas and wear your personal protection equipment when working in a confined space. Rule 6. Use specified fall prevention equipment when working at height. Your harness is your connection to safety. Always use a safety harness. Any work done above two meters puts your life at risk. Rule 6. Use specified fall prevention equipment when working at height. Even at two meters, accidents can lead to severe injuries or even death. Fall arresters are necessary to save your life.
stop. Don't take a risk. You are empowered to stop any unsafe act or condition which may put you or your colleagues at risk. Under no circumstances should you unbuckle your harness when working in a high-risk area. You never know what situation can develop. Never remove your harness when working at height. Obtain authorization before overriding or disabling HSE critical equipment. There are no shortcuts to safety. Obtain area manager approval before overriding HSE critical equipment. HSE critical equipment and systems are designed to protect our people and assets. Obtain area manager approval before overriding HSE critical equipment. Stop. You must follow override procedures before deciding to switch off any critical safety system. Don't take a risk. Do you have the inhibition certificate? Do you understand what could go wrong? Task risk assessment is your assurance. Obtain an Inhibit Certificate before overriding any critical equipment. Do not walk or stand under a suspended load. Stay alert and stay alive. Do not walk or stand under a suspended load. Stop. Don't take a risk. Be aware of your work surroundings. Choose a safe path in an area with lifting operations. Never take a chance on sight. A shortcut may cut your life short. Accidents happen on work sites during lifting and slinging operations. Why take the risk? Be aware of your work surroundings. Choose a safe path in an area with lifting operations. Banned or unauthorized tools or equipment. Only a fool would use banned tools. Do not use banned or unauthorized tools or equipment. Testing, certification and color coding are there to protect us from being hurt. It may seem faster, it may seem easier, but to use a homemade tool or the wrong tool is simply too dangerous. Stop. Don't take a risk. Don't use banned or unauthorized tools or equipment even under the pressure of getting the work done.
uncertified or inappropriate tools are not a quick fix. They are more likely to put your life at risk. On some occasions, lives were lost. Do not take the risk of using banned or unauthorized tools or equipment.